Hi guys, part two of Nixie counter to clock conversion with the conversion part in inverted commas. And this is the first time I've seen Nixie tubes in the flesh in real life. And I like this effect, how the digits are set in front of and behind each other like that. Having made a very similar frequency counter, there was little that surprised me feature wise when I received this. Uh, but one of the features that did was the adjustable sample duration. So for the same gate time, you can adjust the duration between them uh, to make the display appear more stable. I have owned a more modern JCAR Altronics counter before and I know that not every counter has this feature. And with the microcontroller I showed you in part 1, this is the fastest I can get the display to count in a loop that toggles a pin. And to explain why you're seeing photographs of screens in these two videos rather than actual screenshots is that one of these computers has never been connected to a network uh, to protect it from viruses. And I've changed the location for most of the filming and made a camera jig in my drawer. Oh, I've picked the wrong microcontroller and compiler for the job because the maximum variable type is a 16-bit word which doesn't hold enough... Uh, value for the pulses to be displayed such as uh, 2300 hours should be represented as 230,000 pulses so I've made this mess and stored it through uh, an array so there's now 10,000 pulses representing each hour spread across different uh, variables within the array and then that array is cycled by the send pulses routine until all elements in the array are empty this inefficient use of uh, both resources, time and memory, uh, has resulted probably in the nicest nugget for this uh, <laughs> pair of videos so far. So we're changing from 9.59 to 10 o'clock in just a sec and watch. So the changing seconds digit is still visible. Uh, while the entire time is being counted and I assume that's because the uh, changing seconds digit is displayed slightly longer than the rest of the pulses being incremented. And that's my favourite effect I've ended up with so far, although I didn't stop there. Um, moving on from the last video, I've now disconnected the reset uh, relay altogether, which could be streamlined out to something a bit more uh, small. <laughs> No need for that array because instead of sending all the pulses, we're going to increase to the new time. We're going to increment uh, the pulses. So at 59 seconds, we're going to add 41 pulses to reach 100. And similarly, when we reach 59 minutes, we're going to add 4100 pulses to overflow the minutes. So the only time a reset would happen is changing from 2359 back to uh, midnight uh, when the only time the, the number representing the time isn't incremented. Did you see that? No you didn't because it was lightning fast sending 41 pulses. I guess uh, yeah you don't really see any glitch. Of course if you update the minutes and send 4100 pulses that is visible but it's the fastest way this has been done so far. It's also the less reliable because it can't recover from any error. If any noise on the signal line or brown out prevented or added an extra pulse, it uh, wouldn't get fixed this way until midnight. For this example, I've dropped the effect and updating pulses as fast as I can, and I'm using the lead zero blanking feature of the scope and updating the time that will take the longest to update because it's the largest number. And then the reset for the change over to midnight. Given the hardware only has one button, the only way I've come up with to update the time is to increment the minutes uh, by incrementing the minutes variable on the microcontroller because it really is the microcontroller keeping the time and additionally sending the 100 pulses to update the minutes on the frequency counter itself. The seconds pulses are now also sent by the interrupt routine that counts seconds. Not real sure I'll go from here with this, so I do want to open it up and have a look at its smoothing capacitors. And it's yet to be seen whether I tidy up the hardware for the microcontroller. <laughs> 